All right, how's it going? Welcome back, I'm Wyatt. We're here at the Team O'Neill Rally School to talk quickly about the differences running nitrogen in tires versus running compressed air in tires or something else, whatever you might be putting in your tires out there, I don't know. Um, but why are people putting nitrogen in? Is it a farce? Is it a scam? Is it you know overpriced and does it have any impact? It's got everything to do with moisture content. Nitrogen, oxygen, uh, they're all, all the gases are going to expand and contract at the same rates. All tires are going to go down when the temperatures are low and up when the temperatures are high. But the wild card in this scenario is moisture. Moisture content inside this tire, water vapor. That's what's going to give you the big problem and that's why people are putting nitrogen in their tires is because nitrogen is dry. Uh, versus compressing the atmosphere, which is, yes, 78% nitrogen, but that oxygen and other trace gases and whatever are in there uh, has a ton of moisture in it, especially compressed air as that's coming from maybe a not well-maintained compressor or a gas station compressor or your compressor at home. Uh, you probably know if you've ever used a compressor that compressing air has a byproduct of water and that's pretty prolific. If you've got a compressor, you need to drain it occasionally, daily, every time you use it. If you're using impact guns or spray or anything else, there's a lot of water in your compressor and in those lines, and if you fill your tire up with that, that gets a ton of water into this tire. Um, sure, you can get water separators and you can work to avoid that, but it's still gonna be there. If you're compressing the atmosphere and putting it in here, it's gonna be damp and humid. That's why, if this tire is full of compressed air, and I had a separate tire that was exactly the same full of nitrogen, this tire, when I get this hot, it's going to expand much more rapidly, but at an unpredictable rate, right? So my nitrogen filled tire is going to expand something just under 2% every 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So I could make myself a little nerd chart and figure out that, okay, my tire at 10 degrees in the winter time versus 50 degrees versus 100 degrees in the summer, I would know what my pressures are going to change to and be able to account for that. And yes, I should still check them, but at least it would be predictable. If I've got four tires full of compressed air, I've got no clue how much that tire is going to grow or shrink in pressure with the temperature and they're each going to grow or shrink at different rates depending on where I filled them up, um, what compressor I used, uh, or you know maybe it was the first squirt off the compressor versus after the compressor ran for five minutes or whatever. Completely unpredictable and to a much greater extent that compressed air tire is going to grow with temperature. So for a street driving purpose it's nice to have consistent tire pressures, um, but racing, it's really, really important. If this tire is full of compressed air that's moist and I go take this tire out on the track and get it hot, it's gonna grow quickly, it's gonna grow a lot, and we don't know how much. If I take this tire here in the shop at 75 degrees and I put 30 PSI in it, and I take it and rip it around the track, those brakes get hot, that heat radiates through the wheel to the air in the tire, this tire's you know, lots of friction on the surface. That's gonna build up a ton of heat in this tire. It was at 30 PSI. I bet you could get this tire to 40 PSI on a track in a few laps. Uh, the problem is if you dump this down to 30 PSI when it's hot, you go park that car for a couple hours, an hour or whatever, now you're down to 20 PSI. Now you go try to drive on it and it's gonna be underinflated. Um, so to get rid of those problems, nitrogen in the tires. It's also true that nitrogen molecules are slightly larger and less prone to sort of just seeping through tires as they are. You know, a tire, if I put 30 pounds of air in this tire and walk away for six months doing nothing, I might come back and it might be at 25 PSI. Who knows, you put a tire away for uh, you know, a season, I switch from my winter tires to my summer tires, I haven't touched these in six months, there's going to be less air in there. Just naturally, tires are a little porous. Nitrogen is less prone to that. So if you don't want to deal with those issues long term, months and months and months of not checking your tire pressures, yes nitrogen is better. But the main reason is 
Um, it doesn't fluctuate as much with temperature, not because nitrogen doesn't change more than anything else does, because it doesn't have the moisture in it. So, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about this or anything else automotive, please add them in the comments below. And uh, yeah, we'll check in next time. Oh, <laughs>